Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It says scrub there. Is that my lie or is that me? I'll go with the second one. So everybody goes hard on Saturday nights, right? Like, Especially you. <laughs> Welcome back to It's Too Easy. We're here at the Five Iron location in downtown Detroit. Today we have an awesome video for you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You're not going to want to miss this. We had Detroit Red Wings legend Danny DeKaiser in the building, sat down for a quick pod, talked about fighting in the NHL. Steve Eiserman also played a three-hole golf match. Come see how low we shot. Had a great time with Danny today. And we got a huge giveaway for you guys. We got Danny to sign a puck for us, and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is leave some love in the comments below, and you're automatically Automatically entered. Good luck. Wonderful. Yeah, right Sounding One, good? Yep. Wonderful. Got some low couches in here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny is literally going to be like, what I the know. hell am I doing here? Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, welcome back to another episode of It's Too Easy. Got a banger of a guest today. This guy's repped Michigan on every level. He was born here, high school at De La Salle, college at Western Michigan, played for your Red Wings, my favorite Red Wing, and soon to be yours, number 65. Danny DeKaiser. Danny, thank you for being here. Lovely, yeah, lovely, yeah, yeah. lovely. No problem. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So a little bit off camera, we're talking about where you grew up. She's from Algonac. I'm from Macomb. We've seen on the internet both. Can you let the audience know who would you, life or death situation, who you repping with? Oh, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good question. I mean, you know, I only lived in Algonac for like four years, oh, so I, I don't know. Good. Most of my childhood was, was was in Macomb, so I guess I, I guess I gotta go with that. The boat Were you a big boating guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I still like to boat. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually yeah. I might be up at Harsons Island this weekend. So there you absolutely go. love yeah. it. Absolutely yeah. love still to hear it. Still get up there quite a bit. Absolutely love to hear it. What what kind of area were you in Macomb? Were, like were you a Barry, like I was a Barrymore's kid as a kid. Did you okay. go to Barrymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, grew up. Yeah, going. To I Barrymore's always think it's interesting when pro athletes and studs like yourself know the area that we kind of hang out in. So right, right, right. Kind of yeah. want to pick your brain on yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. No, uh, like Lakeside Mall was a big thing growing up. You know? it's, <laughs> it's not so much anymore. Yeah. But, I know, uh, it's so know. Have you been there recently? There, I haven't. No, oh. no. It's, well, neither, is, is, neither is anyone else watching <laughs> yes, this. Yes, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. That place that. is going down. No, it's been down. a while. But yeah, Barry Moore's was, we used to hang out there quite a oh, bit. Yeah. And obviously that place has expanded over the years. But uh, no, yeah, it's just, just that whole road corridor all in there, so. And then you go to De La Salle in Warren. That place is known. We, we've known a few people that have gone to De La Salle, all guys school. Let, in my opinion, the whole reason I went to high school was to talk to the girls. Yeah. Before her, this is before we met. But Allegedly. what was it like to go to an all boys school? Like, did you like that looking back? Or would you have wished it was co-ed? Yeah, I mean, it was like going into it, I was like, you know, it's obviously being a, a teenage Boy, right. you're like, and what the, Where are the chicks at? Yeah, 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 what the yeah, hell yeah. is this? Yeah, but um, no, like, uh, I guess the, like, the curriculum there is good and stuff. Like, once you get in, into it and involved and stuff, and they, right. they do other, other, you know, stuff with uh, other schools and, and whatnot, too. So, definitely, you could, you could, you could meet some women, too. Because you always had the Regina as a sister. Yeah, Regina. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, exactly. Well, and yeah, because I went to Luther North, so, like, we even, like, kind of hung out with a lot of, like, De La Salle, like, Regina people, but okay. I'm like... We were just wondering what the hell that, that click was like. You know, are you, are, are, were you more like, if you're going somewhere, you're going to a party, is it De La Salle and Regina? Or was it people from like kind of everywhere? You yeah, know? I mean, uh, for the most part, that's kind of how it was like. But yeah, um, yeah it was just kind of like a, a mix of everything. Like you don't, you didn't always just hang out with like one other high school or whatever. Right. A lot of, a lot of um, especially like De La Salle, like kids are coming from the whole area. So yeah. like they often have times of friends at other schools other high schools and stuff that, that they grew up nearby right. too. So that's kind of sure. how it What's up, boys? Football season's back. You know what that means. Bunch of content coming your way. We're going to an NFL game every week. We got these podcast episodes that are going to keep coming out. This takes a lot of effort, a lot of editing. I've been taking Magic Mind every morning with my coffee. Helps with my anxiety. Helps with the procrastination. If you guys are dealing with some of these same symptoms, I'm telling you, go check out Magic Mind. We got that nice discount code for you. It's easy 20 Link will be in the description. Go check it out for yourself. Let's get back into the episode. What about, were you like that main athlete there at the time? Who, you know, was there anyone notable yeah, that went that there dog? with you? Who's that dog? Um, at the time. You gotta be that man on camera. Yeah, you yeah. gotta. Well, don't be <laughs> humble here. There's no I didn't yeah. know I was gonna end up playing for the Red Wings at the time, obviously, right. but um, yeah, no, like honestly, so I, I played, I never actually played high school at De La Salle. Right. Um, you know, I played in other areas around Detroit. Yep. So um, like a lot of my time was spent like, outside of school like we were like always gone to like tournaments and 
at hockey practice or like what how so. come how come that is a thing in hockey that you don't play for like the high school usually yeah i don't know it's it's a little different here than like a place like minnesota where they always play like for the high school team. oh yeah um, oh okay i'm not really sure you know how that developed or why that is but that's just i guess that's the way it is were you a big chirper when you played when you were younger like De La Salle boys, you know they lay it on thick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, chirping on the ice, especially when you're young, or are you just kind of let me let my play do the talking? Yeah, I wasn't that? like I wasn't a huge trash talker yeah. like every now and then, but like you know I wasn't like patrolling the red line and right. warm ups or anything. <laughs> right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Another thing we have in common, we both have girls. Other than being the most handsome men on this podcast right now, we both have girls that will absolutely dominate us on the golf course. Yeah. You, did you meet her at Western, and can you tell us how you met your wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I met her at Western. Um, you know, obviously I played hockey there, and, and she played golf, and then uh, we lived in the dorms there together, um, and started, started, like, we knew each other, and then kind of started dating later um, towards, like, my junior, our junior year, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, now we're, now we're married, got, you know, three daughters, yeah. and... Um, like you said, it's it's tough getting out there and oh, having yeah. your wife kind of beat you around on the golf course a little bit. But uh, it humbles you real quick. It does. You're it a star does, on the ice, buddy. Know, but you know yeah. this course is mine. Yeah, exactly. But no, it makes it fun and it makes it competitive too. Like I'm I'm competitive with it. She's just like you know, like you suck. Like you're not competing yeah. with me type deal. But you know. no, because I feel like when you go to um, like college as an athlete, I feel like all the athletes kind of like know each other more, right. like not necessarily like all personally, but I feel like if a girl's on a team or if a guy's on a team, you kind of see them around like having the different backpacks or at like the facilities and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, for sure. You, you run into a lot of athletes on campus yeah. and yeah. like just whatever at, at workouts or like at different, you, a lot of times you share like the same workout facilities and stuff yeah. like that. So you know, you see it, see each other a lot or in the dorms and whatnot. So. You went to Western, but did you grow up a Michigan or a Michigan State fan? Um, or were you always Western till you die? What was I was, you know, you know what, I, uh, no, I was never like, you know, a diehard, a diehard like Western Michigan football fan or anything like that. Right. But, um, you know, I follow them now. And then obviously they had that run with PJ Fleck there a few years back. Yeah. So that, that was fun. Yeah. Um, no, I honestly, I, I never was like, I had family that went to like Michigan or Michigan State. Right. So I was kind of like impartial. I was yeah. kind of split down the middle. like. I would always just just root for like whoever whoever they're playing against. Right. Yeah, so like okay. Yeah. I, I never I never had like a deep rooting interest or anything. Right. Like yeah, that, like so. I, we always root for like we like Michigan, Michigan, but like if a Michigan team is playing, no matter who they are in the whole state, we're always rooting for them. Like yeah, type yeah. of thing, you know. Okay. Okay. Nice. That makes sense. Well, I wanted to talk about how them beating Michigan. Yeah, that's what um, we were gonna say. So you're at Western, you beat Michigan. Is that? Like, what was the state of Western Michigan hockey then? Is that, like, you know, an upset? Is that even play? And do you throw yeah. the biggest banger of all time after that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, right. yeah. come That's on now. It was, college, uh, yeah, college, so, <laughs> yeah, we ended up, like, uh, 2010 was my first year at Western, and it was, like, a little bit of a transition period. The team had only won the year before that, like, I, I don't even think 10 games or something like that. So oh, yeah. um, they were coming off a rough year, and then, for some, well, there was a coaching change, and then we had um, an influx of some good players that came in, a couple transfers, and then a, a few good freshmen that came in as well. And uh, we just, that first year, we had a really good year. We surprised a lot of people. Yep. Um, we actually, I think that year, we ended up uh, playing at the Joe. We, we uh, I think we beat Michigan in the semis, mm -hmm. and then we, we lost to Miami in the finals, um, and then still went on to the, to the bigger tournament. But then the year after that, um, you know, we kind of had a little moxie and a little swagger, yeah. <laughs> and then we ended up, you know, beating Michigan in the uh, in the CCHA finals that yep. year at the Joe. So, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Um, I mean, it was one of those things where, like, it's not, you know, at the time it wasn't like a huge upset, right. but uh, we had some good battles like those last two years. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, you, like we knew it was going to be a good game, like probably a tight game and stuff like yeah. that. But we knew we could play with them, and um, you know, I think. We just came out kind of firing, got a couple good bounces, got up early, you know what I mean? Yep. So, yeah, um, and then, yeah, heading back to Kalamazoo to, to throw a banger. I mean, I feel like there's <laughs> the, there can't be a bigger, better feeling than that. No. Like, even even no matter if there's you're used to dominating them or not, like, yeah. you're beating U of M, a huge Big Ten school, like, that's got to be the right, best right. feeling. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And I know, like, you know, like, in, in obviously that was a big win for us, 100%. Right. Um, but, you know, heading back to, like, Kalamazoo, like, you know, all the, 
all the bars had the game on, at, at, or had the game on TV at all the bars yeah. and all that stuff. Oh, so yeah. it it was fun. Yeah, it was a fun night for sure. That no. was that was back in the day a little bit. Were guys getting pretty crazy like off the off the ice, and then you're just going on taking care of business still, or was yeah. it kind of laid back? I mean, um, you know, with the college schedule, you, you have two games a week, so mm -hmm. everybody goes hard on Saturday nights, right? Mm -hmm. Like. And especially then, you? And, and then, <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, you, yeah, especially yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you didn't really have a choice, really. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 hey. yeah, yeah, but, um, you know, like, leading into the weekend, you know, nobody would get too crazy, but right. maybe early in the week, a couple uh, Monday night specials, you know. I mean, I don't even think this guy needs a pickup line after that game. You just, mm -hmm. everyone already knows there's no pickup lines needed. You just walked I'm, in. Hey, I'm Danny the Kaiser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your pickup line. So, your whole life, you're a Wings fan. We know that. You grow up here. First time you see your jersey with your name on it, you put it on. Did it live up to the hype that you built up in your head? Yeah, no, for sure. Like um, my my first few years in Detroit, like I was the like the youngest, like one of the two youngest guys on the team. Like we always had an older team, kind of back then. It's trying to transition now, but back then it was like, you know, there's me and like two or three others who the first like three years were the youngest guys on the team. Right. So looking up to some of the older guys who like i grew up watching play you know like datsuk zetterberg oh, yeah. cronwall um i mean all all great guys and like kind of you know detroit legends yeah. right so oh, sure. they all won stanley cups and yep. con smice and, and whatever and um just to be a part of the the, like, the team there the first few years especially with those type of players on the team was pretty special oh, you yeah. know like uh, I, I remember like practice my, my very first practice like i drove in I went from Kalamazoo to Toronto, with where that's where my agency was, and mm -hmm. then ended up signing in Detroit. So I came in from Toronto. The next day is like the first practice. Like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. Right? <laughs> I was just like <laughs> taking some exams like two weeks ago, right. or, like a week ago. You know I'm what I mean? Just, right just chilling on my on-campus apartment. You know? yep. <laughs> so I walk into like Joe Lewis into the locker room. I'm like, uh, I guess I just put my gear on and go play hockey like normal. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> what about with Cronwall? Cronwall is known for Cronwall to making these hits. You yeah. ever sit him down by your locker and just go, I'm sick of getting in fights because these hits you're like, <laughs> these guys. Yeah, yeah. like, do you ever go like, come on now? Or is that like, cause I don't really know hockey that much is what he's doing out there kind of shouldn't be happening or you know what I mean? No, I mean, um, well, he's getting penalties for it, but I mean, is that the end of the yeah, world here? Sometimes, but I mean, I don't know, like in today's game is it's changed. Like, you know, I started my first year was 2013. So right. like that's was 10 years ago mm -hmm. yep. and the game just has changed over the last 10 years where it's, it's, I'd say there's more, there's more skill and speed involved right. and there's definitely less hitting. But my thing is like with a lot of guys that are skating through the middle of the ice, like with their head down, like they should get yeah. rocked. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, hey, if, like just if, know better. Just yeah. Know better. Yeah. Like, you guys are putting up 160 points right but you put them down on their on their butt a couple of times like they'll start thinking right. about maybe getting their head up a little bit and then know, so. what about when you're about to fight someone in the nhl is it is it like a street fight where you're like oh shit, i'm gonna have to this is a business decision <laughs> or is it because you have gloves helmets sometimes all that it's kind of like how you would hit someone if you're on defense you know you're just gonna yeah. hit them it's part of the game or is it like holy shit, this guy's big i'm gonna have to yeah, I mean, I, I guess sometimes, like, I was never, like, a big enforcer, so, like, yeah. I didn't get in a ton of fights or anything, but, I've you seen know, your work, though. I've seen there's some, <laughs> yeah, fights, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some fights on there. Yeah. I mean, there, there's some that, like, you just kind of, like, fall into, into, where it's, like, right. it's a heated battle, and just, yeah. like, both guys just, like, are ready to kill each other. Right. And then there's other times where it's, like, like maybe in, like, a playoff series where, like, guys are chirping at each other for yeah. so long. It's, like, all right, let's, let's just settle this, you know what I mean? So. And I think a big but, thing, we, we were watching some videos of you. I want to talk about two... I mean, you had the back injury. That's got to be the worst. You know, your back surgery. That's probably yeah. the worst injury. Yeah, but we yeah. saw two videos. One, I don't know <laughs> the name. Gosh, no, like we when were... the guy like cup checks you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was was that what was what worse? That? What was worse, that or when you took the slap shot off the knee? Because um, we saw both, and neither looked pretty. My yeah, friend. They yeah. They both looked wrong. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if there's one that was like easier to take than the other, but. Um, yeah, the the slap shot off the knee that 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 was yeah not that good. Terrible. But I don't I don't know. But what they the were, hell was the guy doing? Putting your did you say something to him? What what? No, the yeah, 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 He's yeah. A that's just yeah, yeah, you're perfect for yeah, what yeah. you did. Yeah. No, I know that was yeah, that was Lucic. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Playoff series sometimes just like sometimes you know you just do. I you just act. That. You know, not, <laughs> sometimes guys don't think out there and you just do something stupid. Right. <laughs> Apparently. I don't even think he got a penalty actually for it. No way. <laughs> no, I don't think so. The announcers were like ripping his ass after. <laughs> yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. <laughs> no room for that in this sport. I mean, <laughs> I agree with that. But uh, well, I was wondering, like, 
when you have like your pads on like your knees like with like the knee shot is it just on the front of your knees like the pad like did the puck like hit the inside yeah like most i mean most of the coverage is on the front side of your leg um that's where like the harder shell is right. and then like it kind of wraps around the back of your leg but it's like a lot softer mm -hmm. so like yeah if you if your like leg is turned a little bit and it's kind of exposed you can definitely take take a puck off the wrong spot there where there's not a whole lot of padding but I was like, oh yeah, my god, I, that looked like a bullet just straight to yeah. the knee. Yeah, unfortunately, like with, not unfortunately, but like with my <laughs> game, I, I killed a lot of penalties, yeah. like, so, um, and like, a part of that is blocking shots, right, so right. I blocked a ton of shots in, in my career, and so. Gotta take one for the team. Yeah, like that one, one, I mean, I, I broke a foot one time, broke um, right, right on top of my wrist here one time, and. What was, yeah. what out of that was like the most, like, uncomfortable? I mean, obviously, there's like that's not as bad as like the back surgery and everything, but like, was it the wrist? Was it the foot? Like, obviously, cause you can't ski them. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, one time, like, uh, it was, it was a penalty kill we were, we were playing in Tampa Bay mm -hmm. and, um, like, obviously, you know, like are you pre scout before the game, like everybody knows what the other team is going to do or like trying that. to do. Right. Yeah. So it's like who, ac who can execute better really. Right. But, um, anyway, Stamkos, um, was like in his spot that he's always at, like on the power play, you know, it's like, you know you just have to like stand in front of the puck and he's just gonna <laughs> you know where he's gonna be at you just <laughs> but I, I yeah so like i i stepped over and i like it's kind of sometimes it's a habit just to like open your hand up a little bit right and um i think it was the left side but anyways he got me like he took a, a slap a one-timer and it hit me like between my elbow pad and um like my glove mm -hmm. so i literally like oh. just like the hit, way hit bare bone and just, the i know the only spot yeah, yeah. yeah so it just yeah. like split my bone apart oh basically. My gosh. <laughs> what about that back surgery how terrible was that whole experience yeah i mean how that, long did that take you're like you're are you just laying down for months or how did, what what happens in that? yeah no it was just kind of um i don't know it slowly kind of got worse like towards the the start of the season like over the summer and a little bit like towards this beginning part of the season so I tried to just kind of battle through it and play a little bit. Um, but then, you know, it's just one of those things where it just kept getting worse and worse. So right. I had to get surgery on that. Unfortunately, I had like kind of some nerve damage, like shooting pain down mm -hmm. the leg, right? So um, I just, I never fully regained like 100% you know, strength out of that. So it's tough. It's a tough league to play in when you oh, lose yeah. a step or well, can't because really. because our neighbor, I don't even know if you know this, but our neighbor got back surgery and she's no pro athlete. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. And she was like, I would never do it again. This is the most painful thing. Like, this is the worst thing that I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then you're on an interview trying not to say that. And you're trying to say, like, kind of when you'll be back, when I'll be back skating. And, like, like we've, our neighbors, like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. This yeah, is the yeah. most painful thing. Right, I, right, if yeah. I were to go back, I wouldn't have done it. Like, obviously, you had to you do got a little, You're a little bit tougher, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, what's her background? No, how, <laughs> <laughs> how long is that rehab process? Um, it's it's usually like, I don't know, a couple, like six to eight weeks kind of rehab, but like. That's it? Well, it just depends. It's the hardest it, six, it, Yeah, it um, depends. Like all of them are a little bit different, right? Right. Um, but it's it kind of depends, I guess, how bad it is, right? So. You guys are the toughest guys in any sport. I just want to put that on record. Yeah, any of you guys sure. think that I'm lying, you're wrong. You talk about Pavel, you talk about Zetterberg. Does any, when you think of those two players, do you have a fun story that comes to your head in practice, on a travel trip? Um, is, is that Sue doing what he's doing in games, just absolutely dangling the whole team yeah. in practice? Like, yeah, yeah. What, like, pra well, what like does practice look like? Yeah, the, well, that's the thing is, like, you, everybody sees what, like, he does during the games, right? Yeah. But, like, Every, anybody who plays with them sees like the other half of them, which is like every day at practice, right? right? And like some of the stuff he, he would pull off at practice was just kind of Nasty. ridiculous. Yeah, oh he's, my God. He, 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 yeah, he was, he was yeah, probably the, the most skilled, for sure the most skilled player I've ever played with. Just like the stuff that he could do on the ice was nobody else could really do it, right? And there's a lot of good players. Right. So Who, who were you closest with on the team in your, in your days? Um, like, the, like probably the first half, uh, of my career we had kind of a good crew like brendan smith kyle quincy um and then i'm still i'm still tight with justin advocate oh, yep. so see him every now and then and then uh yeah um larkin we just had larkin's wedding on oh, sunday yeah. and this past weekend Aww. so that was a oh, good cool. time he just got married and uh yeah he'll stay in touch with a lot of the guys so oh what what do you th you you played for babcock and yeah. blashville what, what's like the biggest difference between each of them um, I'm gonna pick a favorite. I don't no, know. no, no, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> unless you they're, want to. Yeah, they're, unless yeah. You want to. no. Honestly, they're they're pretty similar. Um, I mean, I I think you know, with like Babcock, he had 
you know some superstars like definitely in their right. prime and stuff like that so that that always helps yeah um whereas you know there were some rebuilding years with blashell so yeah you know some some of it's kind of hard to compare it's it's not all apples to apples right. but they, i think they're both really good exes and all those guys and they yeah. both know you know what they're talking about blashell coached you at western too didn't yeah, he? yeah 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 my first year that he was only there one year yeah, oh yeah. yeah so and then he went year. to the wings as an assistant. yeah yeah right? he went to the wings as assistant so after, you've been yeah. with him a while yeah, yeah 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 quite a bit yeah so that that year one year at western and then um I think we were together in Detroit for like seven years oh, wow. or something like that. Yeah. So. And then Iserman's taken over. Seems like he's doing, you know, a nice rebuild. Yeah. What is your current, you know, state of the Red Wings right now? You think we're going to be turning around in the next couple of years? You like I, what we're doing? I think so. Yeah. I think this will be this will be a big year um, in terms of just like, you know, make taking that next step type right. of thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe do they make the playoffs? I'm not sure. But hopefully, maybe they they're sniffing around a playoff spot towards yep. the end of the year. And they kind of were a little bit last year. Yeah. Um, and then the, the wheels fell off a little bit right around the trade deadline. And then you kind of ship some guys out, have some injuries, and kind of stuff goes a little downhill from there. But I think this year, if they're, you know, anywhere close to a playoff spot at the end of the year, I think that's a successful year. Right. For sure. There's no other sport like hockey, like truly, really, truly. You don't see other people just going, we're fighting now. Right. You know, yeah. is, right, are right. you are you practicing that? Because there's no way that you can just, if you've never fought on skates, standing there with pads on, you have to punch this guy's helmet somehow. Is he Grab taking his helmet jersey. off, grabbing the jersey, taking off? Are you practicing this? Is this some kind of skill that people scout them for? Like, there, what is there's, this? Yeah, I mean, there's, everybody knows like some of like the tougher guys in the league. And right. like what, like, so if you're, if you're an enforcer, if you're a big fighter, like, yeah, going into it, you know, like, okay, this guy's over there, like, what, like, and maybe he's a lefty, right? Like, you, you know that stuff ahead right. of time. But um, some guys, like, some guys practice it a little bit, but it's more of one of those things where it's like an adrenaline rush type, right. of, type of thing. And if whatever, if it gets heated and guys are going at it, that's, they throw it out. But you, know, you guys don't do it in the locker room. Like, like, when you were younger, I had friends when I was younger that said they would, like, locker box. Was that a thing when you were a kid? And then yeah, like, yeah, there was, there was, was yeah, locker boxing was the thing yeah. growing up for sure. Yeah. But, um yeah, I mean, not, I would say, like, not so much anymore. Like, like I don't know, the game's just changed so much yeah. where, especially, like, kids nowadays are so skilled. They play, right. they play hockey, like, year-round now, and um, it's, it's pretty wild how skilled they are, but, yeah. No, I'm imagining, you know, just as you would do these drills, you're doing these yeah. drills. Oh, <laughs> yeah. got, got to go faster. Yeah, go, yeah. You know, 10 no, reps of this. No, you know? it's not like that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just in the mirror. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even with fighting, though, I see a lot of times the helmet, you, somebody can't get the helmet off. I watched you. You were punching a guy without his helmet, and you kept yours on. And I love, that's, that's the strategy to go with. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when you're hitting a helmet, like, have you ever hit someone with your bare hand on their helmet? What yeah, is, yeah. I mean, you try, not, you try not to, right? Like, I know but what are, you, what are you going to hit for if, yeah, if they have a well, helmet on? Where are you aiming? Just like here? Yeah, yeah. Under, under the chin, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So you give them one under the chin. And but that's got to hurt like go a sleep. mother when you, when you hit, or you just don't feel it because your adrenaline's through the moon. Yeah, you, well, a lot of times you don't feel it until yeah. after, and then guys yeah. come off and like, oh, broke my hand. Right. Like, right? So. Before, we we got to get We, we got a little three-hole match. We're going to play yeah. two-man scramble, see how low we can shoot Kay. as a team. All right. So th Sweet. thank you for coming on. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. Nope. So we're going to do like a two. You're going to be hitting every shot in the scramble, but me and her are going to alternate. Okay. So okay. I, you're going to be carrying my shots. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. All right. So All right. team's going to... You know, I, I don't want to say another back surgery, but you're going to be carrying the team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm all right. I don't, He's like, I'm I don't even know. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a game like, player. I hit a, coach. I hit a couple. You hit two. I hit I'm two. a game player, coach. I'm ready for this. <laughs> He's like, I've scouted on my competition. Yeah. It doesn't look like I'm. I ain't no, worried. No, much. No, yeah. no. I ain't worried. <laughs> Let's see how low we can shoot. Yeah, we're gonna do basically a leaderboard of all the guests that we have on to see like how low or okay. what our scores will that, be. The like, best scores? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. All right, that went 100 freaking yards. <laughs> it's right down the middle, though. Let Danny rip it now. Nice shot. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Does it tell you how far that went? I don't know. Oh, right there. See, 160 oh, yeah. yards? <laughs> no, oh, my God. Oh. You hit a 234. No, I did not. Oh, okay. Is that what it was? Oh, thank okay. God. All right, hopefully this stays straight. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, all you right. take that hey, all day. That. Take all that right. all day. The wrong fairway, but I'll take it. Ears up. You better not choke. 
This is where you really got to step it up, Danny. Because <laughs> this is not going to be fun. All right, come on, honey. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. I'm like going the hole. <laughs> oh no! Get down. Sit down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, what do you mean? You sound like you're going to shake it or something. How am I supposed to compete with that? <laughs> Danny, this has never happened before. I'm panicking. <laughs> you may be I... locked in as my new partner, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> so I have 164 in. Is that what that is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm literally panicking. He's never, he's never. Danny that was a before. great shot. Danny may be with me every round I play. That now. was a great <laughs> shot. You got it. Put it in the hole. There's a little room to get in tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not much. <laughs> the door is open. This swing. Oh, go, Papa. Oh, oh my look God. at it, drawn right go. back. Go. go. What a oh. shot. All Round right. This guy's an athlete, folks. If you didn't know from his 10 year Red Wings career, he's an athlete. <laughs> Feet, I'll take that every day of the week. <laughs> So, so we don't putt. We don't putt. Right? Okay, yeah. gotcha. I got it. Okay, thanks, right. Paul. Just automatically Yeah. Off to an immaculate start right So now. you guys birdied then? Or, or? We did. Yeah, we're on yeah. the same team. As like, a team. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay, Our, you said you didn't, tra you didn't trash talk in hockey, but what about golf? That's a whole <laughs> different animal. I'm not, I'm not good enough at golf to trash talk. Right, I'm with you. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I gotta, you got to be able to back it up sometimes. Anyway. I know. Oh. Uh-oh. Living on a prayer over there. Come on now. That's just not going to cut it, Danny. No. Oh, it might be. You might. You not might terrible. have a little window there. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, that's a beat. That's this is a right. special cat we're playing with. Oh. Sit no, right that's there. That's a good angle. That's a great shot. That's a good right. angle. That's a good it's angle. It's a special cat we're playing with here today, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hit that tree, is it, Beanie? We'll see. Let's see if I can aim let, it. Let Danny learn from your mistakes. Yeah, a tree's 90% air, boys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I you should have put her in the fairway. I know. Where, where, uh, I'm where? stunned I made contact still, so <laughs> don't get too picky with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put it to two feet. What are you talking about? I'm telling you, this never happens. <laughs> Is that coming right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you love a good tee box. Oh! No! Sit! Uh oh. All right, Dane. Right. <laughs> Wait. Hey, that's why we got a partner here. That was not, that's not acceptable. Why yeah. did we, the real question is. Why did we take that one? Wh who the hell pressed that one to take? <laughs> it was 50 yards ahead, but it wasn't a good <laughs> angle. But that's that guy over there. Yeah. But that's all we good. All hey, watch things. what this guy do. Watch what daddy, watch what daddy <laughs> does. Yeah. Watch <laughs> daddy cook. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Get over. <gasps> Get through. Oh, no! It's all right. It's all right. Just do what you did on that last hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remind me what I did exactly. <laughs> Remind me how I did that. Oh, that's left. Oh, wait, it's coming oh, back wait. right. Look at this. Wait. Danny? Uh -oh. Sit. 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 That's going to be perfect. Whoa. That's going to be this perfect. This guy is not leaving here without signing up for another tea time <laughs> with shot. me. Good shot. <laughs> I'm on cloud nine right now. <laughs> yeah, it's cloud 69. Favorite Red Wing in the building. I'm playing like I actually know how I'm swinging. Come on. There you go. This is Christmas. What's you that in the bottom left that says scrub there? Is that my lie or is that me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll go with the second one, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Oh, I really like it. Oh, look at that. Go. Oh, get off. Oh, short. All good. No. Let's see if Tiger Woods is putting our ball right now or not. <laughs> But, all right, par. I'm all not right, mad at that. All right. Oh my God. You got Feel it. Feel the pressure. Oh, I pulled it. I always do that with this club. Am I up then? Yep. Okay. Two oh four. Seven iron. All I'm hail. Danny. Seven iron. All seven hail, iron. Lord Danny. Get this on <laughs> the seven green. Iron. Oh, Papa. Go! Oh, what no. is Go. there some secret win? Yeah, what is that? What is there some secret oh. All right. win? Hey, we can bounce back. All good. All good. I wish you would have hit the tee shot and I would have chipped because I'm way better at chipping than you, I feel like. Oh. Hey, today I wouldn't be so sure. I'm playing out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, honestly. 
You probably chip this in. Yeah, chip it in. <laughs> oh, if I do this, I'm going to be banned from here. <laughs> be good. Sit. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Oh, no. Sit. You got to save uh, us, Danny. All right. Yeah. You got your work cut out for you, buddy. But. Okay. Oh, I love this. I oh, feel I like I it. like this a lot Go. more. Oh, what a shot. Give that one right. putt. Give that, Give that one, one putt. Yes. Yes. That's what we're okay. talking about. Oh, what, a nice. shot okay. this man. what a shot by this man. What a shot by this man. Thanks everyone for tuning in once again. Big thanks for Danny. Comment down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's too easy.